hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got I need everybody to go on New URL page and write free K Sean, bro. Let him go. He don't want to work with y'all. Y'all got y'all people respectfully that y'all are choosing. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Y'all don't want me to display this talent somewhere else. I know why. Because I'm going to do that same shit over here and it could have been on your platform. Let's keep it funky. Let's keep it funky. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. New year, same game. Salute to everybody out there. Let's get right to it. K Shine versus URL. URL versus K Shine. Um, there's been so many people that's been asking me to like really expound on the situation or tell you what I know and tell you what I've heard. Yes, I get phone calls. Yes, I hear things. And it's about K-Shine with the whole free K-Shine campaign. He goes on uh, Instagram Live. He blasts Beasley, blasts URL. I watched a couple of interviews from Beasley last night. And here's how I feel, man. Uh, when it comes to this situation, uh, is there fault in all sides? I'm pretty sure. But in this one, it's kind of cut and dry. Business is business. K-Shine is in a contract. First of all, I'll talk about that later. But you're in a contract that has you contracted to do a number of battles, more than one left. Like if it was one battle left on his contract, I can see, you know, the, the artists ain't show up. But they still have parameters in place for when that happens that I'm going to talk about a little later too. And I can see if that was the situation, it was one battle, yada, yada, yada. k Shine's not a $2,500 battle rapper, fortunately for him. You know what I'm saying? He's not... A Survivor Series battle rapper. He's not somebody out here making a thousand dollars on the front end, a thousand dollar back end. That's not him. He's a star. He's a legend. He's big in this shit. So he knows how much it costs to book him. I'm pretty sure we just gonna say. I'm pretty sure he making over 20 a show. Let's just that's the median. Probably making more. But we're gonna say 20 bands. Let's say he's getting 20 bands a battle, right? And you are in a contract that pays you this amount of money and you have battles left, like two battles left or three battles left, more than one, because it was explained it was more than one battle left, and all of your money's been paid, that means you at least, bare minimum, might be 40 in the hole, just two battles, you know what I'm saying? Might be less, might be more. I'm not gonna say how much you, I don't know how much you get specifically, but if I'm your manager, or if I'm involved, I need, I need 20 or more for shine, that's what I need. So, even if, Let's say you're 30 in the hole. Let's just say it's 15 a piece. I don't see Sean getting paid 15 a battle. But let's just say you're 30 grand, 40 grand, 50 grand in the hole. You think they're going to let you go? <laughs> they're not. I'm not surprised. I am not surprised that URL does not want to let you go. And you're making yourself unbookable. With this whole situation, Sean is unbookable by anybody but URL. You signed a contract. You got the bread. They said the way Sean's contract was set up is that he was getting paid every month. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's say I'm just, you know, let's say you get paid 10000 or 15 a month, every month, and the battles are not happening. You want out of your contract. You think niggas going to let you out? You think that's how the music industry work? You think that's how the music industry work? Y'all need to be wanting to do music. Y'all want to be in the record industry? It, you're not going to have a long music career because that is not how this shit works. But let me tell you something, right? So, like I said, I fuck with Sean. Like, I respect Sean. I've always had love for Sean. I watched Sean's career. I've watched him since he was battling in the restaurant or whatever that shit was with the purple coat on him and Rock, where there was no crowd there. This is the reason why I said you shouldn't even be on no contract. Sean was around when the times for the rounds used to be in the bottom corner and shit. There is no reason why 20 years later, 15 years later, he should be on a contract any goddamn way. But I see it though. What happens is big companies come in, they got all this money, caffeine got this money, they want artists. They want to have them in secure situations. They don't want to just be giving out money, 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 money. So that's the reason why even the bigger artists, you can see like niggas with bigger names are being put on contracts. But here's the deal. Uh, when I say you make yourself unbookable, you are making yourself unbookable because the people who you would love to work with can't work with you. They know how much, I remember I said 20,000. 
They know how much it costs to book you. If they give you a deposit or book you and you show up on a flyer, they're getting a cease and desist. That's just what it's going to be. Like, there is no way around that shit. Because I was watching Beasley interview and I'm listening to the things he's saying. And I'm like, if Beasley's wrong, or if I feel like he's wrong, because this is my personal opinion or my personal camera, I really don't care what anybody thinks. That's why I just say what I say, put it out, and move on. But I was listening to what he was saying, right? And he was like, fulfill your obligation. He kept saying that over and over and over. By the end of the video, I must have heard this shit 18 times. You know how fucking Beasley be talking. You know, and URL, we move on principle. We've always been able to complete the objective and the authority of the judi- You know, he be talking that shit that go over your head, nigga. I dumb this shit down to the lowest fucking level, nigga. I ain't, ain't, it is what it is. He's saying that you signed a contract for multiple battles and they have not been done. Now, I get it, you've had some bad karma. Jack Boy situation, the Daylight Battle. Daylight don't battle though. Like I would never sign a contract to battle because he, he battled one year, he'll disappear for four years, come back another, you never know when you're gonna get him. And I remember why Daylight didn't battle Sean because I was thinking, right? I was thinking. It took me a couple days to, to, to fucking really put all my thoughts together, to like a day or two, to put these thoughts together and find the time to talk about it. And I said, why didn't Daylight battle Sean? Oh, it was the Chiller Battle. When Sean got smoked by Chilla, I remember vividly Daylight saying, I'm never battling him. That's what he said. That, and, I, and I believe it. When you lost the battle, during your streak, you lost that battle, Daylight was supposed to be after. He said he wasn't going to battle him. And he didn't do it. Now, I know the URL has, and I said this earlier, they have elevators and, and, and stipulations that cover them in their contracts. If they pay you for said battle and the battle don't happen, they have the authority and the right to move it to another date and try to we always complete the objective. You know what I'm saying? That's the shit that they be on. There is no way that you could say, since we didn't battle on the 25th, I need the rest of my money and I'm not battling. Like that's just, they're never, that, I don't work for URL, but I know for a fact that there's no battle league that's just gonna be cool with a main event or an event not happening or a battle not happening and just being like, fuck it, y'all got it. Yeah, y'all just keep the money, I'm sorry. This is not a reception, this is not a wedding reception, this is not a bridal shower, this is not a baby shower, this is not a DJ hosted to, to be at an event. This is a battle rap. This is what we came to. A lot of the whole, the streets and all of that, you can remove the streets, the whole real, that we on nigga time, real nigga, remove all of that. There's lawyers and all of that shit involved now. There's no, the streets, that shit is not, like, like Smack represents the streets, it comes from the streets, but they're industry now. They're gonna use lawyers. You're gonna get a cease and desist. You're gonna get lawyers on the phone. That's what they do. You ain't just see what happened with Norbs, nigga, they crushed him up and he was with them niggas 10 years. What the fuck you think he gonna do to you? What do you think a nigga's gonna do to you when they threw their own man out the whip who was with them for 10 years? Yeah, I know he did dumb shit, but everybody does dumb shit. But he got thrown out the whip with nothing and had to drag them niggas to court and they still in the case in lawsuit and litigation. What do you think a nigga's gonna do to you that did that to they man? And if that's his man, then nigga, I don't need no mans, nigga. They, they left that nigga out to drive with nothing, called him a scout. And the nigga was there for 10 years. So that should be enough. But secondly, you signed a contract and they paid you. If you signed the contract and they paid you, they expect the work to be done. You could have told them niggas, yo, put, book me versus both of these niggas in the same weekend. We could do a light work, I battle a nigga, and I could do something else and battle a nigga. Just get them shits over in the same weekend. Because I know the problem. The problem is with Kayshawn, he don't want to prepare, get ready, travel, and do all of this shit to not get paid. They paid him all the money already. So if he shows up in battle, it's going to essentially be for free. It's not for free. It's for something that you've been paid for already. So he don't want to do it. I know why he don't want to do it. Who wants to stay up busting their brain, preparing, writing, and getting ready for a battle knowing that you're not getting paid because they paid your ass two months ago or three months ago and the money's probably spent. I'm not saying that he ain't got no money. I'm not saying that. But you're going to have more money when you get paid than a week later. Ask any nigga with a job. You're going to have way more money than you because bills come, kids come, and all this other shit you got going on. Um, but yeah, I seen Calico speak on the same subject, whether on Twitter or whatever the case may be, saying that, you know, business is business. It's a business at the end of the day. Nobody's making these artists sign contracts with a gun in their head. That's why all these people complain and complain and complain about contract, contract. They are, these artists are signing these shits willingly. They're signing them. If you're signing an agreement to be with somebody 
and agreeing to do the job, then you gotta do the job, baby. Like, I, I'm sorry, and I'm always for the artist. Y'all know how much shit I get up on here in this camera and talk. I don't care about the league. I don't care about none of that shit. I be caring about the artist first. But when I listen to everything, who owes what, what's going on, what the situation is, I'm gonna be honest with you on Shine, like on this one, I, I don't know if I can really side with you, bro. And I fucks with you. I respect what you do. But uh, if I'm being honest, I'm thinking about if it was my money. If I had 20, 30, 40, 50 grand invested in the nigga, and then some time go by and the battles don't happen because of whatever reason the nigga gets sick or whatever the case may be, you just like, fuck it, I don't want, I'm not doing it no more. I want out my contract. Free me. It's like, bro, you owe me money. Did I get my money back yet? And then another thing that Beasley was saying was that his phone is open, his line is open. You can call him. Like, he doesn't seem like a non contactable person. Like, I don't speak to Beasley every day. I'm pretty sure if I needed his number today, I could find it and I could contact him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's never uh, been a person to me that is unapproachable or you can't contact. Now, do they got some bullshit? Well, of course they got bullshit with them, but this is the industry. Every industry is a lot of bullshit in there. It's a lot of uh, fucked up ways and shit like that. I get it. But that's the reason why. I gotta be having a hands-off approach. I recap and I cover the culture and shit like that, but I don't be intermingled. I don't know, no, 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 no. The shit that goes on behind the scenes, it be too much. So I'd rather keep my hands off. If I show up to an event, which I will, I come to the events, I say what up, I do my handshakes, take my little pictures and take my ass back to the house. I don't wanna be involved. I don't wanna get too involved. Cause when you get too involved, niggas become friend, friend, buddy, buddy, and it's like, once the buddy, buddy comes in, it's like, I don't have to pay you, you're my friend, right? Nah, man, fuck that, I'd rather get this bread. So I stay away. But, uh, but Shine, I'm be honest with you. Uh, you really are becoming unbookable, and I wanna put stress that point. Any league that books Shine, King of the Dot, Red Breed, Chrome 23, all these leagues that could potentially have the money to do it, they're gonna get a cease and desist at their fucking door. They're getting a letter. They're gonna send a letter to them the second that flyer comes out, the lawyer is sending the letter over there like it ain't happening. So now a nigga done sent you money on a deposit and now he can't even have the battle because now these niggas have stepped in and blocked it. But what you did by saying everything that was going on, of course somebody's gonna speak out on this. Like there's certain shit that goes on in URL, they take a lot. Like niggas be throwing darts at them niggas all the time, but they don't respond to like, like 98% of the shit that people say about them, they don't respond to. But that 2%, when you start talking to free shine and I'll oh, suck my dick and yada yada, like they gonna respond to that. You had to know that Beasley was gonna respond to that in some way. The way he responded, he kind of responded like, oh, I didn't see it. He saw it, I'm pretty sure. Them niggas see everything. I'm not, I'm not for one second buying that he didn't see it or he didn't know what the fuck was going on. He knew what was going on, but the way he was supposed to play it was that way. Oh, I didn't see it when I get home, I watch it. Yeah. No, nigga, you saw that shit, trust me. That nigga, that nigga probably sat in that car and watched that shit before he got out the car. A nigga gonna watch it. When they got 28 minutes on you and he's just barking and woofing, you are gonna watch it. That's the only thing I don't believe. I believe he saw it. But I do believe that um, in this scenario, the Ultimate Rap League is definitely, they have a leg to stand on. If you owe niggas multiple battles for multiple thousands of dollars, they come in to get their money. Um, with the easy situation, uh, I, I don't know why, if that was attempted to be blocked or supposed to be getting blocked or some shit like that, that's bullshit because Chrome 23 is not Rare Breed Entertainment, it's not King of the Dot, it's not contracted, like you can't battle on that league, it should never be the case. Now if you don't fuck with Hitman, they don't fuck with Hitman, so that's a different story. But don't block my bag because you don't fuck with this nigga. That's another story from what I've seen and what I heard, it should still be happening. So. Uh, it is what it is. But yeah, if Remy's your people, you don't block Remy because you don't fuck with the other. Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 no. When SP had a situation to be a judge on King of the Die, I encouraged that shit. I know he not about to go over there and stay there forever. Like, nah, fuck you, nigga, I'm out. Nah, nigga, I'll be like, go get your, go get that. Go do that situation, go get that bag. I encourage you. Get paid, get on, and I'll see you when you're done. That's exactly what it was. You encourage them niggas to make moves. Like, yeah, go get some money, man. Get some money over there, get some money over there. This shit, the battle rap shit, is like, it's me, 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 me. But, um, with Sean, yeah, man, I, I really don't know what leg you have to stand on besides just wanting to be out of contract, talking about breach of, and I be knowing when niggas be getting bad advice, because when they start talking in legal terms and legal jargon, it's a breach of contract, the negotiated terms, I be like, nope, mm-mm, that's not how URL's contracts is written up. 
they are certainly written to where if the event doesn't happen or the battle doesn't happen, they're going to complete the objective. So uh, I wish the best for Kayshawn. Happy New Year. Uh, I wish the best for his family. I wish the best for everything that he has going on. And I hope the situation works itself out. But unless you got the bag to buy yourself out of that deal, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be a pretty penny because, like I said, you are not a $2,000 battle rapper. If this was a $4,000 situation, you'd pay it off and be gone tomorrow. But that ain't the case. When it comes to his name, it's at least 20 and up, and they're owed more than one battle. That's why they're not doing it. So they both have legs to stand on in this, but the leg with the more weight to stand on is the leg with the money. And that's URL. Gang, gang.